Using this Trim Entities tool, you can trim back some excessive sketch entities or extend. So there are many options. Corner option, you can extend two entities. So selecting these two sketch entities, you extend them until it meets at the intersection point. Or you can trim away inside. So you first select the bounding sketch entities. So this horizontal line and uh, another horizontal line and any sketch entities that intersect both of them, you can trim out. So you select those entities, any sketch entities inside those boundary will be eliminated. So I'm going to undo. To trim away outside is the opposite. You select those two entities, boundary entities, and you select entities that intersect both of them, both of the entities, and only the inside part remains and outside parts are removed. Undo again and trim. The trim to closest option trims the part of the sketch entities you select. You trim away what is selected. So here in this case, only the external one is trimmed away, or you can select inside one and that part is trimmed away. You can also extend it. So selecting it a drag in without releasing the mouse button and release it, it is extended to that point. But out of these tools, my favorite one is the power trim option. And you can only use this power trim option. You can do everything. So I'm going to undo all the sketches and trim entities. So select the power trim and you just press the mouse button anywhere in the empty space. And while the mouse is pressed, you just cross over any entities you want to trim out. Okay, so go all, all around it and it's all automatically trimmed. Again, it can be also done inside. Go just keep press the mouse button and move and they are all trimmed away. And there are two options in here. One is keep trimmed entities as construction geometry. So instead of completely removing the trimmed entities, you can just keep them as construction lines. So if I trim it, they're not removed, they just turn to construction line. So this is useful when you have the sketch fully constrained and yet you want to remove some of the entities Instead of removing the entities, then, then you may break the fully constrained sketch. You just turn that into construction line. So it remains as fully constrained sketch, but only some unnecessary components are turned to construction lines. Ignore trimming of construction geometry. So if you click on it, then the construction lines are not trimmed. Only the solid lines are trimmed.